Hey artists and art lovers, welcome back to another episode. I hope you are fine and doing well. So today I'm going to show you how I draw hyper-realistic hairs in my portraits. And I'll be using the same technique which I revealed in my previous videos. So grab your tools and let's get started. So I'm using these three types of pencils for this drawing. A 9B pencil for darker shades, a 5B pencil for medium shades, and a sharp lead B pencil or 2B pencil for minor details. And this, my friends, is a mechanical pencil. And I use this pencil for micro details in my drawings. You can use an ordinary B or 2B pencil as an alternative. The only difference is that you have to sharp the lead again and again. I already drew this rough outline using a B pencil. And I'm gonna use this same technique which I've explained in my previous videos. So if you are unaware of the term indenting stylus, I would suggest you to watch my previous videos before proceeding further in this one. So before using the indenting stylus, I'm gonna shade the darker portions using a B pencil to mark the direction of the hairs. Complete real-time tutorial video will be available for patrons in a few days. Okay, so now I'm going to use this DIY stylus to fill the remaining portion with indenting marks. I'm going to use this side for middle portion and the cylindrical side for the ends. You can also use this black head removal tool or a nail art dotting tool as an alternative. Again, if you don't know anything about these tools, you can watch my previous videos before moving on to the next step. So let's start by indenting some thicker lines in the middle portion. Make sure the line fades in the start and in the end. And the direction of each line should be according to the direction of hair in that specific portion. So as we are done with the middle portion, let's grab the cylindrical side or the pointy end in case of a blackhead removal tool or the sharpest end in case of a dotting tool and start indenting the starting and ending portion of the hairs. When merged with each other, these lines will form a structure like this, which is the exact structure of the highlights on the hairs. The one and only drawback of this technique is once you are done with this indentation thingy, you can't reverse the changes you have made to the paper. So be sure of what you are doing and why you are doing it. And make sure the lines are merged with each other. I would suggest using a table lamp or a good lighting source while doing this indentation process. So you can see the indentation lines and get a better picture of what you are actually doing. So once you are done with the indentation marks, grab a 5P pencil and start shading the surface. And it will be better if you start shading in the direction of the hairs or you can say in the direction of the indentation lines. So before moving on to the next step, I would suggest checking for any mistakes or portions where the indentation lines are missing because you can't reverse any changes after the next step. So grab a 9B pencil and start adding some darker shades in these shadowed portions. I'm using the darkest pencil I have for this process. Start with the maximum pressure and decrease the pressure while moving towards the lighter side. Same is the case with the lower side. 
at a darker shade and move towards the lighter one as you move upwards. Repeat the same process for each and every portion. Again the real time tutorial video will be available for patrons in a few days or as soon as I get the time for editing and uploading. If you need to blend the shades, you can use a tissue paper or a blending stump for this purpose. As the dry brush will not work in this case, you will end up ruining the highlights. Ok, now grab a mechanical pencil or a sharp light B pencil and start filling these white dots in this lower side of the hairs. And also add a darker shade using a 9B pencil. Clear the excess shade using an eraser. Ok now grab a 5P pencil or a mechanical pencil and add these thorn like thingies in the direction of the hairs. You can also add some extra hairs like these in the front side. Repeat the same process on the lower side. Ok so as we are done with this upper long hair portion. Let's grab a mechanical pencil and start adding these short and tiny side hairs.
Mark the direction lines before proceeding further and make sure the direction of the hairs is same as the direction lines and don't add some tiny hairs in different directions or you will end up with an odd looking messy result. You can use a sharp tip B or 2B pencil as an alternative. The only drawback is you have to sharp the lead again and again. Reference image and grid reference is available for patrons. And you can find the link in the description. Okay, so before proceeding further, let's grab an indenting stylus and add these small dot like marks in this right portion. And it will act like a reflection on the hairs. Now fill the remaining portion with the same tiny hairs. Okay, now grab a 5P pencil and shade this rear head or neck area with a darker shade. and fill the remaining portion with a lighter one. Ok, now take a soft synthetic watercolor brush and blend the shade slightly. Again shade the portion with a dark shade and add the desired amount of short and tiny hairs. Ok, now take your mono zero razor or any sharp tip razor and add some highlights in the middle portions. And your hyper realistic hairs are ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and you can follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks and BTS content. And you can also support me on Patreon if you want me to keep uploading these type of helpful and useful content on YouTube. And if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe because I upload new content every Saturday. So thank you so much for watching, keep learning, keep drawing and have a nice day.